एच सी यू पी एच डी हैदराबाद यूनिवर्सिटी पी एच डी क्वेश्चन द क्वेश्चन इज सेट अ रिलेशन इज गिवन टू यू आर ए बी सी डी ई हैज द फॉलोइंग फंक्शनल डिपेंडेंसीज वोट आर ऑल द कीज वेन वेन द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग फॉर द की देन वोट द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग वेन द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग फॉर की वोट द क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग सुपर की और कैंडिडेट की की मीन्स कैंडिडेट की नेक्स्ट वॉट इज दैट सो यू हैव टू फाइंड ऑल द कीज सो टेल मी Which attribute does not appear on the RHS? Every attribute appears on the RHS, right? Every attribute is appearing on the RHS. So let's find out what is A plus. What A can determine? Every attribute appears on the RHS. So let's find out A plus. A plus will give you AB. That's it. Nothing else. A plus can give you AB. B plus also cannot give you something. Okay. C plus also cannot give you something. Okay. Like uh, so D plus is also not useful. So okay. So anyway, now let's see. Only A can give you AB. Other things are not as useful. So what you should check now? Now you can check. Now you don't have to check AB. Now can you see? You don't have to check AB. Yes or no? Can you notice? Can you notice? You don't have to check AB because AB cannot give you anything. Okay, AB cannot give you anything. So let's check AC. Let's check AC closer. So the AC closer will give you A will give you AB. C will, uh, so this will be A will give you AB. So this is ABC. Now BC will give you D. BC will give you D. Now A D will give you E, so everything you got. C can determine A, and now A C can determine everything. Now A C can determine everything. Correct. So this is also candidate key. What about A D plus? Because A D can determine E, because A D can determine E, and A can determine B. So if you see the A D plus, what that will be? A can determine A B, A D can determine E, and finally you can notice B E can determine C. So A D is also candidate key. Okay, so what are the candidate keys we can write here? So your candidate keys, if you notice, then you can notice A A C is a candidate key, A D is a candidate key, okay, and A B is not a candidate key. So A B is not a candidate key. A C we have checked, A D we have checked. A E. What about A E? What about A E? What about A E? So A can determine B E, and you can notice B can determine and A C can determine everything. So that is also there. So A is also there. Okay, so with A everything we have seen, with A everything we have seen. Agree or not? So A is done. Okay, so I can say A is done. With A everything we have seen, and we have also seen that. Now let's check for C. Okay, let's check for C. With C now forget about A. Now forget about A. Now let's check for C. So C is also there. What about C B? What about C B? So C B can determine B C D. B C D. C D. Ah, uh, what about C B? C B C B C B can determine B C D, right? Nothing else. Okay, so definitely C D is not there. C B is not there. Definitely C B is not there, and C D is also not there. What about C E? C is it there? So these are now C is done. Can I say C is done? Okay, now C is done. A is done. Now forget about A. Forget about C. Forget about A. Forget about C. Now let's check the remaining. What about B D? What about B D? B D cannot determine everything. What about B E? B E can determine C, and E C can determine everything, right? So B E can determine everything. Now B is also done. So here B done. What is remaining then? What is remaining then? Then the last is D E. What about D E? The last that is remaining that is D E. Okay, that is not a candidate key, right? You can check it out. You can check it out. I think these are the only candidate keys. Okay, because if you take a three attribute key, C C C C. If you want to check three attributes, C. If you want to check three attributes, now you can notice that you cannot take A, right? You cannot take A. Why? Because if you take A, now what are the remaining two? Yes or no? What are the remaining two? Because A is already uh, pairing with everyone uh, related uh, other than B. Agree or not? If you want to check three attributes. Then you can notice that A cannot be here. A cannot be here because if you put A, then what are the remaining two? If you put remaining two, automatically it will become a it will become a non-candidate key because already these are here. These are candidate. These are candidate key. So A you cannot put. Okay. What about C? A you cannot put. A you cannot put. If I put C, E you cannot put. What are the remaining two? If I put C, you cannot put E. You cannot put A. So the remaining two are B D, but you can notice B C D are already not determining any, anything. 
okay so this is also gone this possibility is also gone this possibility is also gone so now you cannot put c do you agree that now you cannot put c so you cannot put c you cannot put a now you cannot put c you cannot put a these two you cannot put so the remaining three which are the remaining three you cannot put c you cannot put a the remaining three you have okay these are b e d but b is already a candidate key but b is already a candidate key so this is also not a candidate key because b is already candidate key so this is not a candidate key so these are the only three uh, these are the only candidate keys but did you notice one thing did you notice one thing that you must be you must be certain that only candidate keys are these this is very important this is very 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 important you must be certain this word certain yes or no you must be certain that there is no other candidate key is this clear you must be certain that there should be there is no other candidate key so that is the reason i am checking like this okay like this i am analyzing this analysis i have done so that i am certain that there is no other candidate key okay so is there any prime non prime attribute is there any non prime attribute there is no non prime attribute right so there is no non prime attribute all are prime attribute so automatically this is in what all attributes are prime if all attributes are prime it simply means the relation is in 3 and up okay so it simply means that the relation is in 3 and up. and what about bc enough what about bc enough this is not a bc enough right a determining b so if you look at a determining b if you look at a determining b this is not a super key this is not a super key this is not a super key so this is violation of bc enough so this is violation of bc enough so the relation is in 3 enough but not in bc enough this is a simple question but we have done this okay let's see this anyway what is the answer for this question a relation scheme is in which normal form if it is in 1 and f and if all non prime attributes are fully functionally dependent on the key okay if all non prime attributes all the non prime attributes they are fully dependent on key they are fully dependent on key then this is in second normal form right yes or no so that will be in the second normal form your answer will be 2 enough this is nilit scientist b 2016 question so normalization form which is based on transitive dependency is classified as this normal form which is based on transitive dependency it is classified as so based on transitive dependency that is classified as third normal form 3 3 enough mm -hmm.